Hello everybody, my name is Penta Hybrid and welcome to a indie grab bag and indie grab bag, excuse me, grammar. This game is called Warrior Orb, and that is the game we're gonna be covering today. A game by Not Yet Developments and published by Maple Whispering Limited. Uh, according to Steam, it is branded as an indie adventure action RPG Metroidvania. Those are the tags that are on Steam. The link for the game is going to be down below. First and foremost, I would like to pr promote the fact that I did receive a copy of this game from the publisher, so thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to look at this game. It looks incredibly cute, incredibly funny. Uh, demons, giants, mutants, and a talking ball with hybrid limbs. Hybrid, get it? In Warrior Orb, you play as a mighty demon trapped in an unlikely body. The path ahead is not an easy one. Will you do whatever it takes to regain your freedom? Come, came out April 28th, 2020. I am just getting into it now because obviously, and now is a question mark up in the sky. I'm not going to date the video of the the day of the recording, but it's it's a little bit after the release day or up after I received my copy. Anyway, without further ado, we've been dwelling on this long enough. If you guys are interested in these little indie grab bags that I be, that I do on YouTube. A uh, little sh uh, selfless promotion, shameless promotion, god damn it, my brain is dying. little shameless promotion, this is actually a branch off of a show that I run on my Twitch stream, uh, Indie Grab Bag, where I cover four to five different games for about a half hour to an hour apiece, and then sometimes I do game giveaways and all that kind of nonsense, but if you're interested in seeing random indie games like this, and this kind of, you know, blows your whistle, as it were, Consider going over to the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash pentahybrid, where I play all kinds of games, including indie games like this. But let's just jump into Warrior. We've been dwelling on this long enough. Let's do save file two. Okay, easy mode. Infinite Soul Keeper checkpoints. Infinite checkpoints. Spell charges. Uh, no health penalty when respawning to your Soul Keeper. Decreased incoming damage and... No checkpoints. Or no portable checkpoints, rather. Increase damage and health. Well, let's do a new normal mode. This choice is permanent. Absolutely, let's do it. Audio should be fine. Video should be fine. I wish I could just turn back time to undo what I've done. Why don't you? However, the past is behind us. Jeffrey. And all I can change now is the future. Oh, God. Dorian Gray. And a volleyball. D v Dorian Gray became a volleyball. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Warrior. Each weapon has its unique special strike. Some items can't be used, but merchants still will buy them? I think that's it. Act 1. You are a mighty spirit from the unknown realm. You were torn away from your home by a pathetic mortal wizard. After a magical accident, your essence is bound to an unlikely body. Find a way out of your ball body prison. <laughs> Aren't we all trying to get out of our ball body prison? Am I right? Oh my god, he actually bounced. That is amazing. Look at the little like look at the little tutorialization right there. It's like, hey, look at that. Alright, so it looks like well, there's a frame counter? I don't want FPS to be on. Where's the where's the FPS thing? Display FPS now. We 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 know we're gonna be running max FPS on my computer, so. Just as proof that if it starts to look weird at any point in time, that it's typically an OBS or a YouTube issue. But yeah, we are we are we are a ball boy. It's teaching us how to run. Te teaching us how to walk. I see bananas in the bottom left. I see you managed to shape that ball body of yours. That's interesting. I didn't want to summon you. I wanted to get my daughter back. Your presence is not welcome here, demon. Excuse me? Oh. It opened up over here. And then it cuts away. Nice. Left triggers to a set. Oh. Can I just jump off? Yes, I can. Oh, I'm on the lantern. Look at that. But question, can I hit the lantern? Is there an interaction with the lantern? We must know. There is not. It is a sad day. I don't think those are actually bananas down there, but I'm gonna believe that they're bananas. Oh! 
Clever. Cle oh, look at that parallax right there. Okay, moving from background to foreground. I like that. I like that. It's like it makes you think you're going to use the stairs, but they don't let you use the stairs. Yeah, definitely not a banana. It actually looks like a Golden Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's with a red balloon from Pennywise hanging over it. Very interesting. This is obviously loot. Blue crystal. Examine. Ancient crystal people like to buy. Gimme. Wait, 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 wait. Manners. Manners. Always matter. Yeah, look at that thing. Look at that painting. What is that painting? Why is that... <sighs> Can I touch the fountain? No. Interesting. Okay. Turn the dial. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. It's gonna go down, isn't it? You gonna Prince of Persia me? No. Okay. It would have been cool if it would have Prince of Persia me. For those that actually get that reference. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yeah, and I can jump in the ball form. That's amazing. Oh my god Yoink <laughs> Yoink Oh, I get you Yeah Yoink Blue crystal, nice. Gimme. What's this then? Hold on. Yeet! <laughs> I don't know that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's how I did it, damn it. See the on the mold. Oh, you're speaking a different language. This is the deal, demon. Get into the heart of the realm and I can and to find the three artifacts. I need those to correct the summoning. Once you are done, I will set you free. Listen, there's not a damn day in the world that I'm not going to be... Oh, damn. Whew. That's actually extremely loud. Okay. Let's drop this down to like a... Uh, 70, I think. I don't know. Hello. Behold, Traveler. I am the Gatekeeper. I will open this door if you prove worthy. Ask him to open the door. Ah, uh, you can't speak. Hmm, try now. <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's awful. Let's try a different tone. I can only lose this door. How do I prove? Please let me in. No one can skip the trial. Oh god, tutorial. In ball form, you go faster. Dude, I already know, game. You can't. You... All you gotta do is to just dive the child. Don't be able to get out. Okay, green is green is death. Hmm, okay. So what's over here then? Nothing? Is it a real heroes go left situation? Yo, real heroes go left. Okay, watch this. Stoink. 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 Try and try try and fight me. Let's go. Fight me. Wait a second. Secrets? Secrets! I mean, that's gotta be a secret, right? What's this thing? Oh no! I almost got soft locked. I think. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, is this the way I'm supposed to go? Uh, 
I think this is the way I'm supposed to go, so I'm gonna go in the hole. Yo! This is gonna be, like, orbs or something. Water is hurt. Water is not hurt, okay. Interesting. Ooh. Pull. Give it to me. But why? There's gotta be something over here, right? I was like, million percent something. Oh, okay, water is hurt. Water is hurt. We have established that water is big danger. Okay. <laughs> oh! Hell, it's freaking Doc Brown! Except he's a gnome. It's Doc Gnome. A unique, how original, how sporty. Is there anything old, wise gnome scientist could do for you? Lots of adjectives, Doc Brown. Lots of adjectives. You got cut out with the adjectives, man. Bapanada. I'm not, and I'm not wise. In fact, I'm totally crazy. But look at the right side. At least I'm aware of it. It's a fair point. You you admit it in the movies too. Is there anything a middle-aged crazy gnome scientist can do for you? Send me re. Look, I'm forced to stay in this realm so that I can do all these silly tasks with a wizard. Any chance you can help me with that, please? Not really. I don't feel like helping you out. <laughs> I prefer to stay away from wizards. How to prove worthy. Some kind of golem sent me here to prove my worthiness. Any idea how I can do that? Gatekeeper, yeah. Pretty sure you had to face him too, but that's why I prepared Potion of Worthiness. I have a few bottles. I will give you one if you're kind enough to open this door for me. Dude, let's get the door open. Let's let's do it. Why is my dude holding a skull? Look at this. I love the art. Just automatically. I love the art. I love the little background music. It reminds me a little bit the music in the backgrounds, like the ambiance. Reminds me of Toy Odyssey, which is a game I played a couple years ago. Uh, and I played hours and hours and hours of it on stream. And it was actually amazing. It was really good. It was like you were a, a toy in a house. And it was a Metroidvania, like, roguelite almost. Uh, and it's ser seriously underrated. If you don't know what it is, look up Toy Odyssey uh, on Steam. Fantastic game. Absolutely love the game. There was a couple of design issues I had it, problems with, but it didn't dampen my experience with it. But it reminds me of that because the background music was always just there. Subtle little, like string plucks, little harp, little, 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 like, uh, cello, little viola, stuff like just hanging out in the background. And I appreciate that, I appreciate that feeling that it's a mood setter, you know, it's ambiance. It really gives a mysticism to the game. Which, this is really pulling off, honestly. Just like art style and flow so far. Dude, that's another... Heat! Okay, this is big, big danger. I can't get over there then, so I gotta go down? Yo! Who's that guy? Dude, who's that guy right there? Who is that man? Whose man is this? Look at that dude. We need to save him. Oh god, balloon. Okay, I'm in a sewer and there's a balloon. I see what you're doing here, bud. I see what you're doing here, not yet gaming. It's got some Hollow Knight-esque to it, too, a little bit. That's definitely an inspiration. Not yet, if you're watching this video, please let me know if that was an inspiration for you guys. If it was like a Hollow Knight... Like, atmosphere? Like, just a bleak world, you know? With the, like, the subtle, like, gibberish, simlish speak? It's a magic box, it's what it's supposed to do, demon. Yeah, but can I touch it? <laughs> Pick it up. Pull that, and it's gonna drop a... Oh, it's just gonna... Oh, one of two switches there. Very, like, I'm getting very strong. And I mentioned this in the uh, in my server that I'm a part of, which is a bunch of streamers and YouTubers that I'm a group in a group with. Oh my god, I... I broke it. Can I? I broke it. Oh, n oh, it's a shortcut. That's what that's for. Okay. I can't stop being bad though. That's just a, a critical issue here. But I mentioned it in the Discord that I'm a member of, uh, the Wholesome Verse, which features 
the likes of, you know, myself, uh, Rhapsody, who's a well-known Slay the Spire streamer and YouTuber, uh, Mr. Retromation, Gungeon Guy, Isaac Guy, Mr. Alexa, whole bunch of crew, a whole bunch of people like that, Wanderbots, if you guys know who Wanderbots is, very uh, prolific YouTuber here on YouTube, it's, a, it's our stream team crew, and uh, I, I mentioned to them when I was talking about this game, because obviously I, I got reached out to play it, it reminds me a little bit, like the trailer at least, it reminded me a lot of like I Ninja. if you guys even know what that is, I don't know if you have any idea what that is, but it's a game from the PS2 that came out like, I want to say like 2007, I might be wrong on that, but I'd like to say around 2007, but I'm going to try and do this. Oh. Oh, okay. So the the acid just hurts me. Interesting. Okay. Uh how? I feel like I need the box. How do I get the box over here? But it reminds me a little bit of that. Just like I I mi I long for the day or I've been longing for the day that we would have like an interesting little combat platformer again. Because as good as uh, Unravel was, it didn't do it for me. Because Unravel was less of a combat platformer and more of a... I, you can't move with this thing. That's the deal here. Yeah, you can't move with this thing. So unfortunately, I don't actually know what we have to do. I think we might actually just have to go further. And we might actually have to go back over to this direction. Ooh. And not in the hole. Oh, <laughs> dude, my god, my dude got bonked. Uh, just reset me. Give me, eight, give me my HP back. This is the tutorial, Penta. Come on. But yeah, if you guys... What's the vibe you're getting from this so far? And is this a game that you could see yourself playing? Because this is definitely something I, I, I'm going to probably revisit on stream at some point. It is. It has got a charm that is right up my alley. Assuming it maintains... Ooh maintains that uh, feeling throughout its course. Which isn't a guarantee. Okay. So he's out. Oop. That's not good. That continues to... Okay. Let's go. Nope. Hmm? Hmm? And... What? Oh, damn it. Gotta go over here. Gotta over here. There we go. Now he should give us something. Potion of worthiness. There it is. do though ah oh damn oh damn what what two four six eight two four six seven I wonder if these can all be filled up then. That's a whole ton. That's a whole ton. Worthy. 
I also just realized that the loading in the top right is their logo. That's very charming as well. Many keys, and when I say many, I mean it. Ancient Arcade. Oh, there's a bird! There's a big old raven over there. Be careful getting that weirdest side effects. Brings up a good point. Brings up a good point. Like what? What could actually happen? I gotta go in there in a second, but there's gotta be. Magic Mirror. Magic Mirror shows things that were, things that are, and things that may yet be. Fill the basin with water and start contemplating. You meditate about <laughs> who is the fairest. You gotta. You're seeing the ruined realm from afar. The view gets closer until you find yourself looking at the top of a tower. Ruin left this place almost untouched. The street lamps spread light to a couple of metal benches and flower pots. Image zooms in. You have a clear view of the fountain. You are waiting for more, but nothing happens. Well, that fountain is definitely not your cup of tea, but you can accept that it might be the fairest for the magic mirror. The vision fades away. I like this music. Seeing the wizard's room once more. There is a weakened little girl crying, lying on the floor in the middle of the room. She is surrounded by stone runes, candles, and magic potions. There's a glass shards all over the place. There's a ball on the floor right next to the girl. That's me! You're watching the ball and start to get frustrated. You don't want to look at this body replacement, this raggy shell you want answers. You politely explain that you want to see your past instead of your body, but the mirror stubbornly sticks to this image. And the vision fades away. So am I a demon that was put into a wizard body? Ooh! A little music -y. I don't have any spells. Sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Wake up. Who's Tabby? And who's that dude in the hat right there? Fair point. Fair question. I was thinking that myself. <laughs> A cat! This is Tabby Cat, of course. Who's this guy? He's teaching me stuff. And that teaches me to go to the inventory. I gotcha, okay. Well, no, that was a doorway back there. Way, way back. Missing. Missing. It makes sense. Weird key. Descend. Oh. What's clean? What's clean? What are you talking about? The very first golems were made to do the most of the monotonic, monotonic work so that people could have more time to think and create. Once they were friendly, their behavior changed. No, go back down. Interesting. Who's this guy? It's you again. There are some other doors, and they have different rules. Let's do it. Oh, 
Oh, so he's just he's just a teleporty boy. Okay. Same place, just different. Uh... What? Cassie, that crystal. Ton rock, soak of the yard. Let me try and figure this out. Okay. One. 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 I gotta find one. One. Two. Three. Four. Eek. Okay. Where, where is one? Do you have to go back on that one? Okay. One, two. Three. There we go. Okay. Whew. Trying to find one. It's like a drum beat. It's a rhythm. Ah, Doc Brown. Weird walking ball. Dude, you know who I am. <laughs> How about a deal? Open this door and I will give you another bottle of my collection. Okay, okay. What about the floating crystal? Hmm. Ask about the book? What kind of book is he reading? All dead assassin. Might actually be total nonsense, but that's what I'm trying to figure out. Also, reading something represents a nice way to killing time when I encounter a closed door. Speaking of doors. That's true. I would, I would prefer to have a lot of closed doors as well. On the other hand, it's, everyone is crazy these days, so we don't need doors anymore. I've got to go. <laughs> Terribly sorry about that, everybody. It was a brief IRL interruption, but that's actually hilarious enough. I didn't realize we've been already going for about a half an hour. That is actually probably the perfect place for us to wrap this up. Even though we only experienced a little bit of the game, I can clearly tell there's much more to offer. So once again, I would like to thank Not Yet for the opportunity to cover their game, and thank you guys for considering coming to the video and checking out the game. And, uh, hopefully, if you were impressed enough by the game or myself, you would consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, swinging over to the Twitch stream, and, uh, if you get this game, please let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, what you're feeling about it, is this something that you could see yourself playing, or not. Negative criticism is also welcome. But, uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here. My name has been Penta Hybrid. This has been Warrior Orb. And, uh, we will catch you later. I'm gonna go take care of some IRL stuff. Later, guys.